So uh, one question to get started. Did uh, Gino go into much more about what he mentioned last night about our next project together with uh, the next group? Do you remember that? Did that like the seeds? <clears throat> At the end of the meeting yesterday, when I just about, uh, before I left, I was leaving around noon. Yeah. I don't know how much longer the meeting went on, but uh, Gino mentioned another project similar to the one we're gonna do for La Ciel another big one but these people don't even have any kind of he mentioned they don't even have any kind of spiritual anything but they're a big thing like la ciel okay and he mentioned us uh, doing that too so i thought we should just start getting our act together here because <laughs> it seems like seems like shit's going to be coming our way and not just not shit but good stuff actually yeah <clears throat> so um i went through um <clears throat> and um here, I'll, I'll show you what I did real, real quick um, with your stuff um, because I found it all and put it together in a different way so it worked for me. I can't screen share. Can you make me a co-host? Yeah. <sighs> and I should send you the, um, the individual ones. There's 70, like you have the cards, but I can send you the digital version so you can play with them better. Yeah, yeah, that's that would be that would be uh, really cool. Okay, let me let me go find what I did anyway, because you had them in sit sets of six and then three different ones with two each on each. And then so what I did is I literally printed them out and then did a little bit of graphic design and put them back together so that all eight shrunk them down and put all eight. Oh, okay. Um, but let me show you. Just I'll just go through it pretty quick. Let's see. I guess should I do PDFs? I guess so. Now, where did I put them? 72 conversations. Here we go. It's one PDF, so that's great. But just so you could see what I did with it. Um, what the fuck is that? Oh, um, oh, why are all these stupid programs always doing shit I don't want them to do? Come on, fucking piece of shit. Sorry. I can get I can I can get very expressive. When oh, stuff. I know how hard it is with tech that ain't working right. My God. Well, I go to I go to do something and it tells me I don't want to edit this thing. Who the hell said I want to edit it? Okay, now I can share my screen, uh, which is over here. I'm going to start it over because now the new thing is up. Okay, so the first three ignore because that's just you your stuff anyway that was already in this form. But what I did further on, if, if this fucking program works here, I see what I did is I put all of them together like that. Okay. So they're just, you know, each one, cause now I can totally match. And I went through yesterday and I started trying to see if these had a correlation to my nine sets of eight. Okay. And, and I put out a preliminary thing, but I haven't scanned it in to, for us to discuss it yet. But uh, that's something we should do at some point too um because that would be really cool to see how that and see what you think because i just kind of went through and saw what hit me and i so every single one of these conversations is a different gene key gate okay yep yeah so um because what you're doing with it is kind of like the way i see it what i'm doing is kind of like the, the um it would be more like if you took a vertical axis and then i see with your business approach it's how you apply it all in the world as a horizontal axis so we make a okay. perfect a perfect three-dimensional grid between the two of us okay um and it just it made a lot of sense a lot of in fact a lot of years you almost use the same words literally as as the gene key itself and some of them so i was amazed at the um at the correspondences it was really fun to go through it yesterday and look at that but I'll, that's just where i'm at with stuff because i really want to get us um on this yeah on the same page so we can um so you can start to slide into the um the essence dimension of it and i can slide into your existence dimension yours is existential and mine's essential that's why okay. i say vertical vertical horizontal okay yeah and uh, but i really love what you did with it because you're creating the uh, business aspect which is definitely lacking in so many ways and all of pretty much all of the human design jinkies there is a business aspect but it's very much about how people become conditioned to form groups rather than w awakening in, mm. into creating their own type of groups. Because the ones where they're conditioned and asleep and they go into business, they're, they're very fixated, whether it's a, a pattern of five, 
or a bigger pattern that has three of those five plus a leader, which is called 16, and that's a wa. The littler one's called a penta, but those are only if you're asleep. <laughs> oh. those are, because that's, they naturally form with whether you want them to or not. And, uh, huh. But uh, so what we want to do is create a 12 by 12, which is more of a um, totally conscious, intentional, and it's an alignment with reality from the higher sphere. So we want to bring down the higher. So. Um, and I think I discussed that a little bit. But, um, anyway, that's just me starting out. Um, I'm sure you had did things you do, to say did too. Did you do a one-on-one -on -one correlation with the, um, did you start to, to line them up at all? That, I, have, I, have them all I have them all already. Um, see, this is what I went through yesterday and I went through and I started putting, even though you keep their backwards, but this is the earth hexagram, it has all eight. Okay. And I even went in and did the gene keys on this one. So your knowledge sharing, that's uh, the gate of skills, gate 16. Testing, that's gate uh, 35, that's the gate of progress. And then you have here, you have um, gate eight, that's that's the gate of um, the, uh, what is it called? The um, It's kind of like the, the talent scout. So investigation works really good with that one. And then interview that's gate 20 which is all about the gate of the now and you have that defined in your chart but it's about present at the higher level it's about presence oh but my also, god but it can also be very superficial see how neat these are and how they're corresponding yeah and, and then down here you got synthesis and there i have gate two unit which is all about unity and orientation and all those things really cool and over here analysis gate 23 is splitting apart huh, the original name of that hexagram perfect analysis is splitting apart and um, so you can just see, and this is just a little tongue, and 45 is all about education, exploration, what else is education? And then here, um, 12, debate, all about the gate of caution with awareness, you know, we don't do debate, do it with awareness. Yeah, so that's just the first hexagram. I've done all, I've done, I've done all of them. Um, not as in much detail, I just, some of them I just wrote down the gate, I haven't put in the details yet. So did, well. did, so you, um, but wait a sec, I thought there were 64, Versus 72? Yeah, but listen, at the last one, and I'll show you this, the last one, I haven't filled in yet, but that's, and I'll show you my chart and show you how that works too. And as soon as you see it, you'll get it. It's, it, you'll get it right away. Let me show you. Wow, that's exciting. That's fun to do, eh? Yes, so I thought you might get excited because this is really cool stuff, man. I just have to find my centering essence. Did you, um, so you're using, your direct knowing kind of just did they just you just saw it and they lined up kind of thing or well you already kind of did most of the work all i had to do is get the numbers and see how it see if it matched or not and they're pretty much aligning i mean if you really go deeply into stuff it's amazing that that you would it's not that amazing actually because it just makes sense that you would come up with this these kind of um you know discoveries that you discovered all this stuff and, and the way you did it's really uh, amazing there it is is that the one yes that's it okay so i need to go into big and synergy experience okay so i'll show you this real quick and then we can get on with uh, whatever else okay i need to bring it up first dummy uh big and synergy experience did you send me a message about um because i could have been reminded i did for some reason i didn't see the person's name but did you try to edit inside the shared knowledge community for La Cien? No, not yet, okay. because okay. because you haven't given me, I need to get into the page you work on from Weebly, because I know how Weebly works. you got to be on the designer page to be able yeah. to make any changes. I know better. I can't do that. Okay, so I'll, not, I'll not invite you, you today. Yeah, not until you hook me, in, hook me in, give me the password, all that stuff. Um, I think I just got to oh. make you an editor, and then I think that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So see here, this one here, Elijah, this is the ninth okay. place. And this is the, um, and it's beautiful. You have stewardship and there's eight, there's eight dimensions of stewardship from our highest monadic body, then our epic body, Buddhist body, causal body, mental. So you have to have stewardship for every single dimension we exist in. Right. And so that's what this is. This is kind of this position nine, the mediator position, is really kind of like the overtone of all of this. Because this oh, here- I got you, I got you. Yeah, because so this it's, is- it's the, it's the one for each one of them. Yeah, yeah, it makes total it, sense. Yeah, it's the overtone, because here in the physical, you have all, there's eight aspects of the physical, there's eight aspects of the etheric. So this is the overtone. This is the, this is the whole octave itself, as well as being a part of this but in a much more comprehensive way. 
and this is related to stewardship and the other one. So I'll get those, I'll hook those in today. That's the only one I didn't do yet because I forgot I had a ninth one. So you can see they work, they work together. And then what's even deeper is you have a mirror image of all of this. If you flipped this over on its back and put it on the other side, then you'd have all 144 because we humans are a binary. So this, this is our, our conscious knowing aspect. Then the, when we flip it over, it's the actual how it works out in the world. And so we need to come up with a whole another 72. But that's that's so is that the, would the 72 conversation types then actually be that flip side then? Because that's actually us in the real world. There you go. You just nailed it. That's it. Thank you. All right. We figured that out. Good. <laughs> no, that's it. That, no, I'm not joking. That's it. So not so much flip it over, but turn it flat. Yeah. And, and so it intersects straight through. Fuck, that's amazing, Garmendra. That's freaking amazing. Yeah. I think so. You're freaking amazing, too, there, pal. <laughs> you got the other half of it. We just needed to come together. You know, it's interesting. I wonder if I can find an old human design um, uh, chart of... Let me, let me get this out of here, But because you saw that. You know what that's about. Um, an old human design chart where it shows both wheels, one on either side of the body graph. When Ra was originally doing his very first readings, it's a really cool chart. I just don't, I don't doubt it. Are you in contact with him at all, or does he? Ra doesn't isn't alive anymore. Oh, he died in that 2012 at 63, just before his 63rd birthday, when he was going to do his yearly event in Ibiza, where he had his revelation. Still, so unfortunately, not. He's not oh. around. Did you no. ever have contact with him? Like I just would show up for his live teachings at times, depending on what it was. And so he was there just like we are now. And, but but it was a one-way thing. He, he would just talk and teach. And at the end, there were maybe a few people that have a short little question here and there. He'd give a couple of, you know, 10 minutes at the end of stuff to do that. Not, not much, but so anyway, um, yeah, that was that. I'm just trying to look up to see if I have any old... I got rid of so much old stuff, which really pisses me off that I did that. I had tons more human design stuff, but um, in the end, I got sick of it. And <laughs> you know how we burn stuff, and I, I, it's stupid to burn certain things. I know. Things. You should give, but, it, give it to Once I gave all my stuff to somebody, instead of burning it, knowing, yeah. you know, you know, this is like five years of work, you know. <laughs> yeah, but we do that. We can't help it. But anyway, no, I don't have any old thing, but it... Uh, <clears throat> But what I but let me see. I'll just show you one thing just to give you an idea of what it what it might look like. Um, all right, I'll just bring up the human design wheel here, and then uh, I'll show you how the original the way he used to do original readings was really cool. Because um, <clears throat> what he do? Oh no, I don't know which one it is. I think it's this one. Yes, okay, so it's the bottom one. That's going to be a pain in the ass. I hate Office Picture Manager. It never tells you what it's bringing up. Oh, there it is. Okay, yes, it does. All right. So the way he used to do original uh, readings. Oh, how the... That's fucking shit. <laughs> All right. I want this. PNG, please. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, put that down. Close it out. Boy, they need to make this more user friendly somehow eventually. Okay, so what he used to do is he would have this thing right here, the body graph. You can see me outlining it with my arrow, right? Yeah. And then he'd have this wheel right here, over here in a smaller version, and then another one over here. And the one over here was black, and the one over here was red, because we have one that we're imprinted with at the time of birth, which is all the planets, the sun, the earth, and the and the nodes, right? But 88 degrees before the sun, when our physical vehicle is complete, we, we spend three months um, as a spirit coming in after our vehicle is complete. That's complete 88 degrees of the sun. That's the red wheel. So basically, yours is the red wheel. It's the one that is the do function, the stuff that people can actually see. That's tangible. That's what the whole vehicle stuff is about. Personality is our understanding, our, our, what we bring into it, our uniqueness, whatever. This is just a vehicle we're going to inhabit for the time we're in the body. And obviously, everything you brought in is to make that vehicle as, you know, as proficient, efficient, comfortable, you know, skillful, 
everything we need to have a comfortable existence because all of the things that you're talking about are all about business is about making a good life, a good livelihood and a good life. And this side over here is about awakening the personality, right? Um, so that's what that is over here. And uh, that's how it used to be when he first did. I wish I had the, um, the actual thing for it, but you can picture this little wheel made smaller. Yeah. And, and, and instead of this in there, it's just black. And then another little wheel made smaller over here. And this in here is just red. And then this is all by itself down here, just sitting this, this body graph. It's called a body graph is there. Um, so anyway, that's just to give you a kind of a mental conception of, of what uh, I'm talking about and why it's so neat with our stuff. Because we've got the red wheel and the black wheel now, and we've got the translation. And so I think it's just friggin' brilliant. And um, so we just need to, uh, you know, um, how would how would I do that? Because, yeah, no, I guess I'm going to have to... Um, Let's see, how are we going to do that? I, I'm, I could give you all the numbers. Do you have any access to human design? Um, uh, you don't have any PDFs in human design or gene keys, do you? PD, like, get them. I mean, it's... Yeah, yeah, you, you can. You can get, like, the gene keys book uh, on Amazon. I think you can get it as a, uh, a Kindle for, like, nothing. Okay. And, then, and then there's some... I'm wondering if you even need human design stuff, though, I think. Are you talking about like to make a map to put them together, what we just did kind of thing? Well, it's just for you to, if you want, if you're interested in becoming familiar with Richard. Well, for Rush. sure, for sure. Like I have had actually the Gene Keys, I think three times. I've either lost or given the book away kind of thing. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah I, will, uh, I will definitely go get that, you know, for sure. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that might be useful for our work. No, you just got to become familiar with the Shadow Gift Siddha of all 64. Yeah. Gene Keys, and I'm working out my own one, but I'm only up to the last meeting was 17, so I got a ways to go before I finish mine. In well, my, I mean, as soon as I get the correlation with the convo types, that'll mm -hmm. be my, you know, um, I'll probably what I could do is I could make a card set of the Gene Keys. Um, because I don't know if he's done that yet, but I'll do that just as soon as I well, make a card set, I kind of remember it too. Well, well, hang on a minute here. I don't know that you need to do that, or you can take this and I give you my permission to do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, uh, but this, this, it's already, there already is a card set. I, I got it. That's what I'm doing. That's okay. What I'm making. That's Have you what made I'm the card set? You want me to make that card set maybe? Let, let, me, let me show you. I think I already sent this to you. I hope you kept it. I mean. The PowerPoint. Yeah, but let me show you again, so you refresh your memory of what what we're. What have you on. have you have you made uh, a card set with those? No, I haven't printed these out as a card set, but we should. But I have. But the fact. But the point is, is because I'm doing this is my life code. So when I yeah. do the when I do these, the names are different than Richard Rudd's. Yes. And um, that's the only thing. But if I wouldn't care if you because these cards, these cards are um, so indicative of what you know. Because anytime do you, you have, have an artist do those. The, this is a called I Ching Visions. It's a it's a I Ching Tarot that was made in the 1990s. Okay. And, and I'm not selling it or anything, so I can use it in teaching and stuff like I'm doing. Okay. Uh, but you, being a, 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 an illustrator, I'm guessing almost pro, you could you could see because the thunder all thunder, which is down here, is a road. Okay. And all water up here are ravines kind of thing okay and if you get the idea of what it's doing mountains are just mountains obviously and uh water is, is it's not always a ravine in this case it's um it's you know it's a waterfall but if you these cards are really beautiful in that sense because the guy took the themes of each one like this one is heaven below so you just have a clear clear open you know and then you know something's building up here this is water but and that's what it is it's heaven this these three straight lines are heaven and a, a broken line, a straight line, and a broken line is water. So it might be good to familiarize yourself with well, the, tri the trigrams and the hexagrams also, if you're not familiar with them. But uh, as you can see, uh, I've done a few of them. And, and if you get into where I started to use them full time in my meetings, then I've even got some complete, like 13, okay. 14. 
uh, 15 is complete, 16 and 17 are all complete because I've used them in meetings now. But then if beyond that, I haven't even started putting them in yet. I just have the, um, you know, but for your sake, I'm saying if you want to, to use this set and, and you can go and use the Gene Keys descriptions if you want, just so you can start to correlate. But I could, I should, um, I should give you all the, uh, that's going to take me a little bit of work, but I should give you all the, your terms for each one of these, because your terms could, right. you know what I mean? Because I already have, I have all those now, but I want you to look at them and see if, if you think one or another, if there might be a slight shift here and there and something, I don't know, because it's okay. your, it's your thing. And once you get a handle on where the gene keys are coming from, <clears throat> um, you know, then you might, and for me, I don't need to go and read through all the whole gene keys because I know the essence of all of them. So that's why I can do my own uh, insight on them and take it deeper, quicker. I condense what, what it. Do you, what, what do you think the difference is between what you're doing and what Richard Rudd has done? Well, he's, he admittedly said he's not been through the, the enlightenment process. I have. I've been through the mystical death and rebirth. So I literally have conscious intentional access to the veil that separates life and death. So I can look in and see the things he poetically kind of intuitively senses in his writings. I can literally go in and see those things and be and allow those things to resonate through my consciousness and act and interact with them consciously. He just, it just, he, he's one of the seers like Ra who opened to specifically this knowledge. So intuitively he can let it come through and he can write it out like an artist, but a lot of time, but artists, you know, they would have to wait for inspiration and whatever. And, um, but he has an opening into it, but it's, it's like, he's a, the difference between his fourth body uh, um, channeling, um, which is kind of, you know, like where the prophet Khalil Gibran's the prophet was written from, he wasn't enlightened, but he had an opening and something came through and he could have access to it. The difference between a person like that, like Richard Rudd is also, in relation to the gene keys, he had an opening and now he has access to that. Like Raw with human design, he had an opening, he had access to that. And anytime he opened to it, there was something that allowed him. So there was a higher consciousness working with these guys that allowing them to be a, a messenger. That's not the same as a Buddha. A Buddha is somebody who's a, who spent decades on him, working on himself to awaken permanently. So not only do I have access to this stuff, I also have access to all the other transmissions I've shared with you and my own transmission, which is independent of any of those and can use any of those or, or not be dependent on any of those that just come from my own awakening. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know what you are because you have, in the meeting, you really impressed me with the one meeting you came to of mine so far, you're totally tapped in. So you're obviously, there's somebody who doesn't care about all those fancy terms and you're just about business and doing it. You remind me of my ex best friend um, who was who was the guy I first shared all this stuff with when I woke up back in 1994? We did a school together, Tai Chi school back east, and he was the healer and I was the Tai Chi guy. And uh, he he was he was like you, he could just tap into it and see it and everything. But uh, I don't know, he he just um, he didn't he didn't take full responsibility for it somehow. Or I don't know I don't know what it is. He's got maybe some issues in there, and I think maybe if he was honest, he hasn't been through the death and rebirth process. But he's so, and I'm not sure if everybody needs to go through that in order to be qualified as awakened. Like my wife can tap into this stuff like crazy in a way I can't because she can bring an energy in. That's why she's so good at Reiki. She, when she taps into it, she swirls shit into the space that fucking goes through you and does stuff. It's amazing. I, I open a vision, as you know. I mean, I, I create a vision and then you can tap into your light body and let that come through you and adjust your consciousness in a, di in a different way. So everybody has different skills. And I just haven't seen what yours is yet, but I know you have one too, because of when you came into the meeting, you were clearly... Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to put you on a, a different place than other people. But you were in a different place <laughs> than everybody else in the meeting, uh, other than myself. And uh, I felt like I had somebody I could, you know, appear. Everybody else is still kind of reach. Denise is really close, um, and I think she's actually there. She just doesn't know it. So a lot of times with women, they don't really care about that. They just want to do it. And the others are learning and they're very, they're very brilliant and they're open. So I just, just to give you maybe a way to context all of this so you can see where I'm coming from with it. Because I'm very clear about this stuff. 
And I'm not into the old style of awakening anymore. The guy who sits on the mountain and um, acts all holy and uh, is perfect, <laughs> except when he goes back into his hut and spills his coffee and then has a shit fit. But nobody, <laughs> nobody sees that, you know. But I had enough friends around Osho and everything, and he, he lost his cool sometimes. Nobody's perfect on this planet. It's not possible. Okay. But I want to... I want to bring that out. I want to show that what a Buddha is, is the whole spectrum. That's why I, I also share my shadows. Even if I'm not percolating in that shadow anymore, I'm still going to go into that place in my aura where, where that information is and, ac and access it, mm. you know? So that, because it's not for me, it's for everybody else. People need to see how to get in touch with the shadows and stuff. And I seem to have this miraculous ability that when I tap into things in open spaces, it seems like it, for whoever's in my space, they can do it too. So that's, that's my siddha of virtue. That's my life's work. And it seems like that's what virtue does. It, it opens for everybody else also something. But in a way where it's not like you have to tell them anything. You just, it's like it just makes it accessible. Whatever that wisdom is I'm tapping into, anybody's tapping in with me has that wisdom access also. So those are just some points that I, I, I've learned to trust that I, in the past, I would say, why am I going on like this? But I know it's useful to what we're doing. Because you're really brilliant, and I know it's helping you orient into my work and how I see things. Well, um, the, just to have, you know, just to have anybody who gets it and uses it and is, mm -hmm. is, is willing to work with it and immediately, like for you just to get it, pop it, and do it, you know, that's, mm -hmm. I mean, that to me shows, you know, genuine excitement, interest, and in, in we're both diving deep in, right, which makes me completely mm -hmm. you know it's just so rare hey, <laughs> Super hey rare. Let, let's not waste time let me um let's okay. do something do you have access to your um your 72 yeah cir circles and is it easy for you to put a number next to each one um or, or not yeah i can just uh i can just write it down as we go oh okay well that's a lot to write isn't it because you're gonna nope. write it. No. No. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start right uh, like you do. Do you want to go the, back to the sh stop sharing the screen? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go a different way. I'm going to sh I'm going to share the other the other one, so that I can be also knowing what I'm sharing with you. And okay. Make sure that what I'm see what I'm sharing with you is also what I'm seeing, too. So there's no no confusion. Because I'll show you what I, I mean, I'll just give you numbers for each. And like I said, I haven't had a chance to scan these in yet. So okay. we, st well, we start what I can What I can do is I can send you the PNGs of these. So then you uh -huh. have them as a, as a single. Yeah, I want that. Okay. I was hoping that would be. Uh, and then it looked like you had one where you had the big circle from our inner, inner, uh, what's it called you call it? The inflow matrix. It yeah. has all, like our, like what these all relate to. What, what I also saw you had is like you had a big circle for each one, like a big circle for stewardship. And then you had the eight little ones that are connected with below that. And you okay. were sharing with me. Yeah. That's the one That's the one I would like. Okay. Because then you, then you give me nine of those. One with each big circle from the value system inflow matrix inner group level. And then below each one of those circles is the, is the uh, eight little ones that make up each one. Which we're going through right here. The, these yeah. are the, but anyway, uh, if you, but either way, it doesn't matter. I have what I need. I mean, okay. I, I'm I okay. I know what to send you. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so here now, I'll just start giving you numbers. We start with this one. It's too bad you should have had these printed out, and then you could just write on it like I did. Okay. Okay. But and these are going to be the gene keys gates. Okay. okay. What these numbers are? Knowledge sharing is sixteen. Okay. Testing is thirty-five. Okay. Investigation is eight. Okay. Interview is 20. Okay. Synthesis is two. Okay. Analysis is 23. Okay. 40, uh, exploration is 45. Okay. And debate is 12. And I literally just took your numbers from the inflow matrix inner wheel and literally aligned them directly to my Enneagram. So that's how I'm right. doing it. 
Yeah. Cause that's how you've numbered it too. I mean, you've got three, one, then three, two, then three, yeah. three, and that's just goes around the wheel in the same way the Enneagram does. So I'm assuming because of the correlations I found, they were very close. Yeah. But if you, if you end up seeing a whole different set of eight to match your set of eight, then let me know. And we'll do okay. that in, whatever we'll do that instead. But anyway, okay. So sharing is, isn't this funny that sharing, which is 15 is all about love of humanity. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's, that's why they, they blow my mind, um, how close they are. Sourcing is 39. Okay. Releasing is 52. Okay. Which is inaction, haha, so is yours. Um, extrusion is 33, which is all about isolating. And that's, geez, it's, it's amazing how correlated they are, some of them. Uh, ingestion is 53. It's the beginning of any anything. And you have entry of any resource into a system. Huh. Um, 56 is logistical. Okay. 31, or I mean maintenance is, oops, 31. Okay. And 62 is uh, purchasing, purchasing is 62. I got to remember to give you the, the name first and then the number. All right, that's the mountain set of hexagrams. This is a water set of hexagrams. If okay, you're that, hey, just wait. The first, that was mountain. And what was the? The very first was uh, earth, earth hexagrams, the earth hexagram set. Do you know I have a table with the eight on it? Uh huh that's got the trigrams on it and it's a painted oh. table four feet that you can sit at mm. you, you, oh. you haven't seen my game boards i mean they they just they transform how humans sit and communicate together as long you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of old and wise and so are you so i'll say it like this as long as we um what we're starting here evolves and we continue we ha we're going to have a lot of connecting to do and we're and I think we're going to get we're going to get very prosperous in our work together. I think that also is going to come in a way that even, not even you can see foresee yet. I know I can't because I don't really care about that stuff, but I do because my wife wants more, and she's she comes she comes from a wealthy Hollywood family, and she's absolutely coming out of her skin with this poor guy, poor guy me. <laughs> not for long. I mean, you like I mean, come on. To me, it's it's the value what we hold is so high mm -hmm. that we both can't even put a number on it because we know it's priceless yep and if others can't see it it's just kind of waiting for the moment where they do and, and to me it's very different when it goes from one to two mm -hmm. you know i find you know my weaknesses have killed me and to me yeah. you're yep you're, same yeah we're, we're a perfect tai chi anyway let's carry on explanation is number four okay motivational is seven Okay. Assessment forty seven. Okay. Storytelling six. Okay. Um, feedback twenty nine. Okay. Theoretical fifty nine. Okay. Reflection forty. Okay. And instructional sixty four. That was the water, water hexagrams. Water hexagram house, I should say. Okay. And there, these are all together, each in a set of eight around the wheel. By the way, if you look at the wheel, that's just how they go through the year. So, okay. So you'll, you'll, but obviously the way you've laid it out is not according to that. I had to match them and figure yeah. it out. It, it gets closer though the further we go. Funny enough. Okay. Problem solving. Eighteen. Gate of correction. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting, gate 46, gate of determination. Oh, oh, wow. And you'll love this next one. Scheduling, gate 28, the gate of the game player. Uh. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, it just gets better and better. Then uh, briefing, gate 44, coming to meet. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and then, wild. I know, and time, time out is 32, the gate of continuity. So that that's interesting how that will connect into timeout, but it totally makes sense to me. If it doesn't, you will talk. Can you about just it. bring down the the, the card? Thing oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was getting so excited about what I was sharing, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for that, Shadow. Okay, 
Um, shop talk, 50. Okay. Uh, follow up, uh, 48. Okay. And directions, 57, the gate of intuition. Clear. Which, which one is this one? This is the, um, the, uh, the wind hexagram gates wind. house. Okay. And, uh, and believe, and do you know that the colors you're using here are almost this are in almost all of them, the same colors that are used in the, in the PowerPoints really? for the wind is green. Water, water is blue. The only difference is they, they make uh, earth black and mountains purple, but you go, you go purple uh, indigo, which I like even better than what they did. And of course, yellow is thunder in the, really? uh, in, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not joking. So if you have any problems, just look at your stuff and you'll know which hexagram is in those cards in the pictures. What's the lower half? So amazing anyway. Um, okay, so uh, upgrade is 17. Ideation 25. Brainstorm 51. That's the lightning bolt. So that's oh, really? A, yep. 21 is critical analysis, and that's um, splitting apart. So that's perfect. Um, three, the gate of ordering design specs. What? <laughs> three, the gate of ordering. And then reformat, 42. And then that's the gate of endings. And so that something new can begin. Reformat. Oh, right. Okay. And um, gate 24, the gate of inventions, designing, what? And then 27, nourishment, building, building up, making something more nourishing. Oh, right. wait, wait, which one was that again? Building is 27. I'm sorry, I didn't bring okay. it down. I didn't bring it down. Designing is 24, building is 27. Okay. Life code, gene key, whatever you want to call it. Hexagram gate, human design gate. Okay, now we're on to fire, which is uh, orange actually in the um, in the uh, card. So that's you actually have the next the lake as orange, but in in the other in the cards, this color is lake, and your next one orange is fire. But I don't think that matters because I'm going to stick with your numbering system. All right, and this is uh, yeah. So this is fire. This yes. is the hexagram house of fire, synergizing forty nine. 13, synchronizing, empathy, that's the gate of empathy, and listening. Um, 55, conflict resolution. Wait, that's, are you kidding? Because that's my life yeah. purpose, and, and yeah. I couldn't believe that, like, <laughs> the amount of conflict I can get into sometimes. Yeah, well, it's the gate of spirit. You're, sp you are so spirit. It's so, it's not even funny. That's probably why you're so good at the stuff I do. Oh, yeah. Healing is gate 30, recognition of feelings, and what's this? Hold space so that people in the conversation can express their pain. Perfect. See how much these align? Yeah. It's crazy. Um, 63 is, have you got everything up to that? Yeah. The healing, healing 30, grieving 63? Yeah. Um, and that's after the end. So you, you're the loss of something. So something's over. That's what wow. 63. 37, appreciation. That's the gate of the family or the intimate close ones okay. and that's definitely what family does to recognize the quality value and significance of someone or something absolutely 36 connecting that's the gate of compassion really yep i am not joking and then 22 22 is clearing and that clears the field of any tension resentment or misunderstanding well of course it does it's the gate of grace the gate of what grace oh to have grace and clear that's what i needed yesterday uh what what number was that 22 that is that 22 and 55 are the biggest keys he does in his book. They go on for 20 pages. All the rest of the gene keys are like seven pages. 22 and 50 because that's clearing. Those are the two toughest. Uh... Well, no, because 22 is, is about involution and how the higher evolution comes down into us. So he gets really deeply into that. And 55 is what's happening. The gate we're going to go into as the whole planet as an upgrade of our consciousness and our genes. That's evolution. So those are the two major things. And that's conflict resolution, like, yep. of course. Yep, of course. All right, so we're into, that was the fire. This is the Lake Hexagram Gates house. Okay. 58 is a comfort zone. 
um, 10 is guidance and guidance. Ah, that's okay, all wait, about. comfort zone 58, sorry. Yeah, and guidance is 10. Okay, what's the one for comfort zone? In 58. No, I know, but give me the... Oh, uh, it's 58. The, the sequence goes from dissatisfaction to vitality to bliss. Huh. So it's, it's, it's the gate of... Um, it's, it's about love of life. So your, your comfort zone should be what you love about life. Not so much about staying stuck, but remaining happy. Okay, that changes yeah. that one. But, yeah, but you, it doesn't change. But show it's freaking amazing. I mean, it, it's giving. Yep. It's giving the, the the shadow to each one. It's blowing, isn't it? Oh. Wait till you go in and plug all these in and see if they work for you. I bet they will. Ten is guide. This I love this too. Ten guidance to assist people towards finding the right path. It's the it's the gate of behavior. It goes from the investigator to the martyr to the. I uh, know. Oh, sorry, the investigator to. The hermit to the martyr to the opportunist to the um uh to the heretic to the role model so it's so it's perfect guidance it's like to to guide you that's why i say yours are about the horizontal how you get along and how you get it along out there in the world the guidance so that's what 10 is guidance um welcoming 54. okay and uh preparation 38. Can you bring the screen down a little? Oh yeah. And each each time you give me not like I I I just like hearing when you give the gene key little thing to give me a, a correlation. Yeah. If you don't yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Well, fifty four with welcoming. Um, that's the gate of the um, the marrying maiden who starts out as the cleaning woman and ends up owning the company. So she has to learn how to join and welcome each time a temporary. Um, path crossing just so she can make her next step and so it's so so perfect welcoming for 54 38 is the gate of the fighter who stands up for and um and look to get everyone ready to deliver the best service possible you got to stand up and fight for your product preparation and then 61 is the gate of inner mystery so monitoring to make sure that everything is okay with the services somebody is receiving and you got to really be deep, deep into the inner. You got to really see into the depths to see if somebody's really okay. Because what we're doing now is taking what you're using and putting it into a consciousness domain, not just um, a, a marketing thing, but it's deeper than that. So I take, I take what you do with what I'm putting in, and, and really show the essence of each one of these. So it's beautiful the way you, what you've done with them because it makes it so easy to correlate. So your work has been uh, as incredible as mine every bit because we've both had to put this kind of depth into it to make this happen. Um, 60, complaint, the gate of limitation. Well, there you go. Uh-huh. And 19, um, remedy, the gate of wanting. Well, yeah, what do we, let, what's the remedy? What do you want? What do you, you know, you, it's need. What do I need? So perfect. And 41 is the gate of decrease. Farewell, temporarily acknowledge separation of past. Every time you somebody leaves, you decrease a little bit. For a moment, anyway. So, um, really, I, I just think it's amazing. Okay, and that was the gate of fire, uh, lake. Now we'll go to um, the 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 uh, heaven. This is heaven. The gate, the hexagrams of heaven, the house of heaven. Team follow up is forty three. Um, and that's interesting because 43 is the uh, the gate of, um, it's really about, uh, how to say it, it's the inner, it's the inner ear. Um, and in a team follow-up, you need a lot of ears to, um, to really hear what's being said and to make the prospect work because it's also something new. And anything to do with 43 is, is about mutations. It's always about bringing something new, <clears throat> a new insight. Contact with a prospect. The prospect is a new insight into your company because it's gonna bring things into your company. So, and then one, credibility. Well, <clears throat> credibility, one is the gate of the role, is the gate of the role model, inspiration. That's how you're credible because you can, you can do that. You can be a role model. <clears throat> 
34, first contact, that's the gate of power skills. Yes, you want to make sure all your power skills are when you make a first contact so you really impact somebody with the best of who you are. 14, needs analysis. Well, the gate, the gate of, um, again, that, that's a very much focused in skills. Um, actually, 34 is, is the gate of power. 14 is the gate of power skills. So that's where you're going to get your needs analysis because you're going to be in touch with the most powerful skills you need. So let, let me clarify that. 34, first contact is the gate of power. And 14, needs analysis, right next to it is the gate of power skills. So because I, I at first said 34 was power skills, no, that's power, just power, raw power. You have that defined in your chart too, by the way. You got spirit power, no wonder you're so powerful. Um, and then we'll, I'll go down, so I'll keep, make sure I keep us, okay. Presentation is gate five. And the interesting thing about gate five is fixed rhythms. Every presentation has its own unique rhythm and timing of delivery. So these are just, I guess these are almost like inner keys about how to activate this, all of these processes you brought out so beautifully. Um, nine is negotiation. Negotiation Sorry, is- Sorry, what was presentation? Five. Five. Gate of fixed rhythms. Nine is the gate of focus, and that's what you need in negotiation. You absolutely have to be focused so you know what the hell you're getting out of it. See how these kind of match together so well? I just think they're amazing. You know, who knows? Once you look through it, though, you may rearrange them a bit, that's, uh, and then we'll discuss that. Well, well I, I guess I'm, I'm trusting your inner knowing mm -hmm. and understanding of the gates. Like, I know I would probably do it through a pendulum. Oh, yeah. you know, or sometimes, you know, I do get sort of intuitive insight, but it's kind of like, I don't know. I mean, to me, there's all the gates could probably correlate with all the combo types. And in some way, you know, any type you met time, you matrix something mm -hmm. all can fit with all. But then there's this primary connection. Yeah. Point that that's what we're right. That's what we're looking for. The primary alignment. That's a, <clears throat> wonder, that's a beautiful way of looking at it. I look at things that way, too. Um, and then enrollment is number 11, and get this, 11 is the gate of ideas, and you're talking about an idea here. Yeah. And then 26 is um, gifting. That's the salesman. So you always got to give a gift if you want to get people's interest and get them to buy what you got, gifting. That's the most beautiful thing you can do with 26. The, the um, Interestingly enough, the, uh, <laughs> the spectrum on that is, is pride artfulness, invisibility. When your, yeah. gifts are in, when your gifts are invisible, but you grace somebody with what you give them, that's really the highest art. And they won't find out about it maybe until after you're gone even. That's why that's a city. Because that's a very egotistical gate, gate 26 of gifting, because a lot of people give gifts because they want to get something. For yeah. gift. But at the highest levels, there's that's what invisibility means. You know, it doesn't matter. It's about the gift. It's not about you. All right, and then we move to the last one. Now here, I guess this is why we're having this meeting because these, I didn't go through yet because um, these are the bodies. The, there's the physical physical body, uh, etheric, astral, mental. Uh, oh, I'm already seeing it. Causal, buddhic, atmic. Oh, wow. Okay, and can you just okay. me again, like in your, the physical? Yeah, I'm going to give them to you right now because I just, I just saw them all as I looked at them. Okay. Yeah, so, um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, hang on a sec. Um, let me make sure I got to look at them. Causal, because that blessings does come through that one. Um, and then, yes, mental visioning, but it's also directing. Is that astral or astral? Astral, mental. Okay. Astral, mental. Uh, hang on. I'm, I'm, re, I'm redoing a little bit. Puzzle. Um, so that's, that's Buddhic. Hmm, well, that's interesting. This is atmic, and this is monadic. All right, 
And then uh, let's see, context building would be mental. The last thing would be astral where it's needed. And then etheric, electromagnetic blueprint would be, yep, advocating. And then physical, that's where the focus is. Okay, got it. All right, so focusing is the physical, these aren't numbers, these are just the bot, the vehicles. Okay. That the whole, all of the, all of the other 64 uh, are about. Eventually, I can tell you what each, there are eight for each of these, actually. There's eight physical gates, eight etheric gates. We just went through all that. <laughs> okay, but, but which are the physical in terms of the correlations to the uh, the trigrams? Like the, yeah, yeah, hang on. Is it hang physical on. earth or? Hang on. Um, it's not that simple because okay. I, I uh, give me a sec. I got to bring up a different, I have to bring up something different and show you again to, start <coughs> to teach you a little bit more about my, uh, my work and how I do it. Uh, where is my, uh, uh, is this? Hmm. Well, I hope it's this, I have no idea. No, that's not this. Um, it's, it's this one, but how come it's not showing up? Oh no, that's the other one. Okay, no, it's not that one. Oh, cause I closed it. Hang on, I gotta go open it up again. My master picture. Oh God, where is it? Not here. Please pardon my moments where I have to find things. It bugs me. It may not bug you, but it bugs me. <laughs> okay, so what have I? What two have I got? I don't need one of them. Which one? That one I don't need. So get out of there. All right, I'll bring this back up and show you how this works. Because, and then you're gonna, like I say, you're gonna have to do some homework too, so to figure all this stuff out. Um, but I will give you the way to do it. That's for sure. Um, where is it? Is this it? You know, when, when I first came across Gene Keys, I knew that there was a correlation with the work. Uh huh. Just, I, you know, it was just so obvious, but I hadn't, um, like, this is a direct correlation. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. All right, which one? Oh, here it is. Okay. Jeez. Christ, they need to do it. There, now see, here, the reason I couldn't answer that so simply is, remember here, this, this here is the, uh, the Earth hexagram. Funny, I didn't put those in there. I didn't put what they are, but I don't need to because I know what they're. Anyway, so all of, let's see, how shall I say it? Huh. Okay, so but all this is Earth, but this is Earth under Earth. This is Earth under mountain. This is Earth under. I got you. Okay, I got you. so so all the um, how shall I say it? Down they have majors here, and minors. See here, this is the physical. But it's it's one from each house. Yeah. This is the etheric. There are eight of them, but it's one from each house. Yeah. So you need to go in. Do you have? I sent you this diagram. I'm sure all you got to do is look up and see what gate it is, because all the gates are written in there for which body, which house. Okay. Is, is the correspondence? That's how you bring all this back to the main one, which is the overall. Okay. Right. All right. And this is kind of like the. Inclusion. I got you. So it's one from each is the thing, yeah. not all the whole thing. Right. And so like here, what, what you would have is an, an transcend and include. So this would be not only all eight of these, but because they're in perfect um, integration, it becomes something else altogether. It's the ninth thing that this whole thing is about. This is our rainbow body. This is our adamantine rainbow body of light coming in and it's opening up into our genetic reality. Not only um, vertically like I showed, but now we have the horizontal picture, which you've done. And now we're correlating. Okay, so understood. Can I go back yeah. to? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to. Um, Wait, what was the one above atomic? Above what? The causal buddhic atomic and. Oh no, atmic. A A T M I C. There's no atomic. Atmic. Okay. And then monadic. Monadic. Okay. Okay. Got it. Right now, let's get okay. Seventy-two conversations. That's what I call this diagram: the seventy-two conversations that I made here of your stuff. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. Uh, focusing is physical, physical okay. vehicle. 
Um, advocating is it there? Context building is mental body, mental vehicle body, however you want to call it. Okay. Um, blessing is astral. Okay. Uh, visioning is causal, and that's exactly what visioning is about. It's the causal. Um, directing is the buddhic. Okay. Mediating is the atmic. Because it's our. What's that again? Mediating. Oh, I'm sorry. Mediating. Gotta bring, gotta bring it down. Mediating is the atmic, because the atmic is our collective superconsciousness. Just like the buddhic is our individual superconsciousness. And our causal is the opening to the, it's, it's the place where the higher can come through and impact all these lowers, the physical, the etheric, the mental, and the astral. And the reason you need blessings in the astral is because that's where all the roadblocks are in our emotional reality. And the only place you can do context building is, of course, in the mental. That's where you build things, um, structures, diagrams, you know, all that stuff. And so just so you know. Um, yeah. And advocating through the etheric, we can resonate with another person electromagnetically so we can advocate. And focus is we live in this dimension. So that's where the focus belongs, physical. And then delegating, and then you can see monadic, which is a kind of a integration and a transcendence of all of the other stuff. That's the biggest task to delegate as missions and work to specific people for them to complete. So that's where you lay out the whole main yard. So that's monadic correspondence. Does that make sense to you too? It, it, it does. I mean, it's, uh, I think, you know, again, because you're, know these levels and you're you're man. well you're, you're gonna know them now too you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna go through all this and you're gonna see that all this stuff it's either like it, it's gonna add whole new new um understanding for you and all this stuff well you're giving the the background framework that this stuff fits on that i sort of have done in my own way just according to kind of like intention and um you know, you know, whatever, however I do it, but this is, yeah. this is like, uh, yeah, however you do it. <laughs> like it just seems obvious to me at times of what things are, but doesn't necessarily mean I know Everybody. why they're uh, I'm, uh, I'm able to do that. Uh -huh. But I, I guess I like, I mean, I don't know again, words to describe things, but I definitely have gone through a death rebirth experience, I guess a number of times, but definitely, uh, yeah, There's been a number of them where it was just like almost down to the speck of non-existence and all I had was a point within the void and all I said was, you know, use me as a vehicle or, or extinguish me, but yeah. I don't, I give my yeah. full surrender to you. <laughs> yeah, that's fascinating because um, the, uh, the one, I mean, they're as far as mystical deaths and rebirths go, technically, as far as the work, the lineage of awakening, there's only one. There is no, a bunch of them. So the one that, it's interesting though, because the one you just spoke of, you actually go into being annihilated. And then after the annihilation comes the point of light and the, and the dissension of grace and the opening of the, and the clearing of the veils and the ability to see directly and, and intentionally and consciously and willingly into other dimensions anytime. But it's always in, and it only really works well when it's for the benefit of others. So yeah. that's the true one. But you could have possibly, because of your unique path, had one for each body. You could have gone through a death and a rebirth and to transcend the limitations of the physical form that you can see into and understand and resonate with the electromagnetic body of etheric. And then you break through that and now you're, you can, understand and connect with the waves of feeling through the astral body and then you break through that and then you see the ge sacred geometries of the mental body and then you break through that and then you go into the uh how shall i call it manifesting through the voice what you say becomes reality of the causal body etc cetera, etc cetera. so you might have so you might have had breakthroughs like that and gone because i've gone through and, and questioned people and taken them through the different bodies to see which body there, you know, like my best friend at the time back in 93, he got all the way to the buddhic body 
and then it was so trippy because at that time I was really starting to meet all the higher beings. And this being came into the space and, and um, the, literally the room we were in, it was just him and I, the room we were in, opened up in this, this dome upside like a bowl, literally lowered itself from the roof into the space. And we were in a space where the, we literally were in total awareness. Anytime a thought came by, it was like a slow moving train and we could literally see it. And we didn't have to engage it at all. We were in the state of pure awareness, and the the re and it was so cool that her, his my best friend's girlfriend at the time came into the room, sat in a chair, and literally instead of sitting into the chair like this, she just laid across it like that with her eyes wide open and didn't move for about forty five minutes. Then got up and went whoa and left the room. <laughs> so these are the kind of things that that um, you know were happening um, in terms of what kind of things can actually occur, you know, when you really start getting into the real. And because basically what I realized, if, if you've ever read the Bardo, the Book of the Dead, I basically, if you do a real mystical death and rebirth, and it took six years for me to go through it, but I literally went through what happens in the Bardo after you leave this world. But the teachings are actually for people who go through a mystical death and rebirth and don't leave the world. Because those books aren't going to be read by people that are gone. They're going to be in it. They don't need right. the book. Right. But what happened is that superimposed itself upon my ordinary reality for the next six years. So whenever I stopped this world and went into like I do in the meetings, we stopped the world and then we open space for deeper stuff. So we always had to drop our stone to, to relieve ourselves of the energy frequency vibration of the world. Then we lightened up and opened our vision because that's kind of like the gift you give to the higher to say, this is my creative vision. This is what I want to open to you. And then that descends and then you get the experience of the higher consciousness, whatever it is, like this bowl shape that came in and was, I call it Metatron because that's what it seemed like. Cause we were, that's what happened. We got to the fifth body and the fifth body is about that silent, pure centered awareness. Now I remember why I started that conversation is because you can actually take people through a certain questioning to get them to, to see which body they're tapped into you know so those are all neat things that are just opening uh, based on the just to give you a little more info too because you're not going to get that out of the gene keys book and that's what i'm bringing that the gene keys doesn't bring you asked earlier and yes he does the seven sacred seals but he does a uh, these these um you know like 20 minute long um devotional kind of cleansing all you know prostrating um you know um asking you know all these things uh, to get those bodies to, to be healed. But what I'm doing with them is I'm, it's already awakened. So it's more about what are they, how do they line up with the other stuff and how do we utilize it? The healing's already happened, but that's why I also do the work of the shadows, gifts and siddhas so that people can get the healing. Once somebody goes through all 64, they'll literally have access to all, all the bodies because that's what I'm doing in my work. What, what's number 30 at healing? Can you? 30 and healing is the gate of the fates. The fates? The fates. And oh, the, the yeah. The how, would sequence, they, how would they connect this, to healing? This, the sequence is because, because the fates are what come in and knock you over all the time. You, your conditioning comes through the fates. All, all, your, all your unexpected like, oh, we're going to go really great on this. And all of a sudden it falls apart. That's the fates. You didn't align with the higher correctly. So, so basically there's the, the three, the spectrum of consciousness is fantasy. That's when the fates really get you because you're not in line with reality. Then anticipation because you know you're in line, you see it's coming. You just got to hang in there until it gets here. And emanation, when you become a vehicle for the fates, you become an agent of the fates. Yeah. And that is, of course, because it's also the gate of, of uh, um, yeah, what is it? Recognizing, recognition of feelings. You know, I haven't uh, written a manual for these conversation types. And I, I couldn't understand why. Like, I've, I've had these created for over 10 years. And I just, it, did, it, it wasn't coming through in terms of the explanation of what they are. But now I see that they need to have these to really have the right, connection point of how to use the convos yep. yeah so i think what i what i see i don't know if you want to but i see that maybe we could write a book together of course we could i'm writing out my uh, i'm writing out the essence of each of my uh, each of my life codes and meeting each week 
if I, if I have if I want to write a book and if if it if it gets to the point where I can free myself from this kind of work, then we can just all speed it up and all, we can do the whole book in quicker. Yeah, it doesn't have to take as long. Yeah, but um, right now it's one a week because that's what I have time. I, I know, I, and we, you know, anything I've got, I mean, everyone I know that I want to bring on board, uh, we need to get on salary, so. Um, yeah. Eventually, uh, well, especially with the kind of, the work we're doing coming up might get us some nice, I, I don't expect it to, it might though. I mean, some of these people might be expecting it for free and then the fates come in and blow it all flat and we go to the next guy and go, okay, that was great, but we need something more than that, you know no, what I mean? No, no, what, what, what I see is, is it, do you know what I what what might be good is for you to send a message to Gino and just just kind of highlight a little what's happening between us yeah. because he he is tapped into these people and he just he just needs a little prompting to understand how deep we're going with the integration of our work because he does get that we've got something right. I mean, it's a lot more than that because he took me the other day into the virtual worlds he wants to start setting up and he was talking to me about setting me up with a room where I could start teaching and that's just my thing with him because yeah. he just approached me with that and as I started to go into it a little bit he almost like he did in the meeting last week where we all went into our purpose it's almost like he, was, he already knows it because the minute I go into it he's familiar he just he's like my wife he gets it he knows it yeah. He can he can he can go through it as good if not better than anybody I uh, at, like you and I. But he doesn't care about all that. He knows that he, that's why he wants to set me up with a room because he says I know you know all this. Yeah. Mandra. I just want to set you up in a room. I don't really care if you just because the minute I start to describe it, he's like yeah well, you know whatever you'll do yeah. that and you'll do that in your meetings or whatever <laughs> you know. So, so I know he's he's already a quick. That's why he's throwing stuff at us because he sees yeah. it. See or see each other. I mean, and just because you and I are map makers, not everybody is, and they don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. You know, some some people are energy movers, some people are entrepreneurial space center uppers. Some, you know, it just depends. Everybody has a different, unique skill. I love that we're both map makers. You know, um, and that I, I guess just what I'm saying is, I, I, the he just might need a little prompt to get us closer to funding. Uh huh. Well, I think that would be something we need to do together. And I think you're the one, and because you said it, I think you're the one that needs to reach him, reach out to him and do it. I, you, you never, whenever somebody tries to assign me something, I always go, <laughs> uh -uh. nobody can tell me what to do. I'm sorry. I'm the seventh gate. The seventh gate is the army. It's the future. I'm the one that gets to say where we're going. That's just the way it is. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> well, that's good because I'm, uh, you're the I, gate right, of the I, I want to delegate a lot to people, but I also, I like it when people know, you know, who yeah. what they are. Yeah, not not me. You can't you can't do that. And people find that out about me sooner or later. And um, I'm gonna I gotta find your I gotta find your chart real quick to make sure because this is gonna be really funny when I tell you something. Because um, I think that's why our match is so so amazing. I even yeah. Hang on, here it is. Can, can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. I I was in the. Uh, uh, do you know about the up game? The what? The, it's called the up game. No. Okay, there's a, anyways, in a meeting after our meeting, uh -huh. and it's with a very, you know, they're, like, imagine you, you're you told that you're about to present, and you're with these other people about to present, and then the next, you miss a meeting, then you come back, and you're no longer presenting, and they're not really acknowledging you're there. Oh, and, um, For, yeah, I know, I know what that's like. And, they're going I'm, along with and it's just like you're there and then you're watching them kind of like they're making some glaring it like they bring in the ancestors and then again they say what about you then they forget about you and then they make this switch from they just brought in the ancestors and now the ancestors out of the way and now they're doing their logistics for their meeting the next day uh -huh. <laughs> and i i click my picture off and i'm just trying to sort of process <laughs> what i'm watching and what i'm feeling and seeing like the train wreck uh -huh. coming uh -huh. And then, you know, this kind of like the volcano starting to rise. And uh -huh. then at the very end of the meeting, they go, oh, Elijah, what do you think? <laughs> you know, probably the worst question they could ask. I take uh -huh. my picture down. And then do, you I start, mind, uh, do you mind if I ask who this was? Um, well, it's, it's the up game. Oh, it's, so. it's a group of people out of San Francisco that it's oh, great, San Francisco. great intention. Yeah. loving beings in their 30s oh. um 
but just no idea about right pace. Yeah, no. None. And no, no idea that they invited an elder in who's, who's everything they talk about, I've already designed. Everything they yeah. want, I've already done. Yeah, they have no concept of sequencing. There's like 10 different things in what, that little story that I noted that they don't, that they missed. With yeah. You were, the way you were saying that. <laughs> so and, interesting. And then I, I start off slow. I start off okay. And then, then I just. Hmm. So anyway, um, just to, that's a, that's a funny story. And um, anyway, I got tomorrow invited to this thing called the Supernodes um, thing for the summer solstice tomorrow with this lady who I met through Gino, whose name is Yanling Duan, and um, she does this thing called Block Base in Davos, Switzerland. So I'm going to be one of the 22 elders in that tomorrow, and I have no idea how that's going to go. And I hope it's not like what you were just talking about. I hope it because she's older; she's more in her 40s. So hopefully, it's a more mature thing because I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing there. She doesn't. How much time just, you got? Well, I only have the whole thing's going on for two or three hours. I'm not sure because she get, sent me messages from one email and then from another, and I tried to contact her from her personal email, and she hasn't got back to me. So. I really don't know, but I can only be there an hour and 45 from 8 to 9.45. It's from 5 to 8 p.m. Central European time, which is nine hours ahead of okay. where I'm at. But uh, anyway, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I don't even know really um, anything yet. I just asked for a link. I said, well, I suppose you're sending me a link, and she never got back to me. <laughs> Uh, but all I did for her was do some uh, angelic table stuff because she's really brilliant. And then I gave her a whole human design reading. But then she just, it was weird because people like Denise and Brett, you know, they offered something to me when I gave them a reading. I didn't ask, but they offered. Like Denise did some designing for me and Brett broke as he is, gave me some money even, you know. But And then the kids I've done it for, but they're broken. They don't even live anywhere. So I don't expect anything from there. They're a yeah. future. I, I don't mind giving to that. That's an investment. Maybe not for me personally, but for what's to come. But this lady, she's hot. She's got a beautiful place in Switzerland, and it's a, a growth place. And people come, and she just took it, and that was it. And I'm like, huh? Well, maybe she, maybe through this, she's trying to open me to some other stuff. But she's kind of doing it like typical of, you know, the feminine approach of being very indirect instead of just coming out like Gino and saying, here, here's some people. Try this and see what happens. She's doing that in a way by throwing me in the mix and saying I'm one of these elders that's clear about, you know, stuff. And she gives me these, you know, acknowledgments of macro, multi-dimensional, whatever. And, but still. So anyway, I don't know why I'm even bringing that up. because well, I think it's the same thing of, you know, if you're looking long term and they're probably going to be a strong ally, you don't mind gifting at the beginning. Right. So many times these things go sideways or they, or they just take it and go and all of a sudden. Yeah wasted another you know yeah. precious time like, well in the end it's never wasted because you know what you you know what you have and it's going to always if it goes through them and gets to somebody else even that's good and it, like yeah. i said it may not be for us it just it may be for, and i'm definitely based on what's coming down on the planet right now looking into the future to throw as many streams and you know lineage tree activations as possible because i am a lineage i mean i'm zorba the buddha martial arts bottom line yeah yeah. That's me, you know. When when Osho left the body, I was Osho Zen martial arts director of the planet of that one of the seven schools of the mystery mystery school whole thing. I was the school of centering when he left the world. So I, I took that. I don't care who's there now. They I don't they they're not awake. They're just doing what you know. Their little brother of Jayesh, the billionaire, who owns twelve percent of the Hilton, who was the guy who was left in charge when Osho left. So that's his little his little brother is the guy who is now running the Osho Zen martial arts. And I've been there, done work with him and we've done a lot of stuff together. He's a neat guy and he's as skilled as I am martial arts wise. He's really deeply skilled in other words, but uh, as far as the deeper stuff, I just, I don't even think he knows. <laughs> right. So anyway, I don't care about that. I just, I know that I am that lineage and that's why I can do what I do. I just own it. I don't need to talk about it because a lot of people have weird conceptions of Osho and they don't understand. They only see wild, wild country and go, oh my God, you guys are a bunch of sex addicts ruled by a crazed guru, you know, who was a narcissist or some bullshit, which means it doesn't, it's infinitely remotely what it was. It, it was a Buddha, hello, in the world who was pros persecuted by the American government and poisoned in a fucking cell in Oklahoma with Thalio because they couldn't handle him. 
It's all in. The, it's in. It's been written about. It's in. It's published books. Jesus Christ crucified again in Ronald Reagan's America. That's what that was. Yeah. That's what that was. I know all of it inside and out. I was an insider. I way inside, outside his bedroom door, guarding him back in 1979, 1980. I mean, you should write a book about where. <clears throat> Just, We're, well, I don't really, I mean, that may come out at some point. I, I am, and it's called The Centering Essence. And if I ever get time to do that, but I think it'd be more interesting to do a book with you because that's going to be more for humanity and more uh, beneficial to humanity that you and I come together and do something. There's a reason we're coming together so much, and I'm starting to see it, especially after you shared with me all your nine of eights, and I could line my nine of eight to it, and I'm just going, fuck. We got it. We got the vertical. We got the horizontal. Not not only for the whole grid of all 72, but for each sphere, we got the horizontal and the vertical. Each one is a horizontal and a vertical. Wait till I show you how that works. Because you got, you got, once you put those together, you got line one, line two, line three, oh. line four, line line five and line six and then you've got colors one two three four five six on each line and then you've got rings around each color one two three four five six tones and then you've got the four corners of each tone the bases the quadrants i've got those broke each every single sphere now we've got the full thing mind-blowing wait till i show you all that it'll blow your mind and you'll know human design deeper than anybody out there that that pretends to be one of raw's you know advanced imaging students who's now somebody who this the stuff i'm doing with it it blows all that away because now we got the whole picture <clears throat> now we got the whole picture now we can really do something with it um so i think when you start lining this up and looking at the gene keys with your stuff the way i've lined it up i think you're going to have a major revelation and it's just going to be a long slow one over a period of time i don't think it's going to be anything wow boom but it might at some point but I don't expect that because of the way you've taught me how you go through your process. It's probably going to be boom, 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 you know, right along. Well, it doesn't like, I would definitely say this is a, a sharp spike. Um, yeah, bro. <laughs> well, you, you could imagine me yesterday when I had, when I, when I did my, uh, little, when I printed out all your ones with the six and then the ones with the two, two and two and cut them all out and put them together and then shrunk them on my copier and made them into the ones I could work with and then just started writing all the gates on it. like, Oh, wait, this is this is uncanny. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, Jesus. It was like that the whole way through. And I was like, but, but I'm, you know, I've already had the the major explosion implosion. So for me, it's just I don't get any of that stuff anymore. It's like it's not that I'm flat, it's like I'm gone. <laughs> so when I did it though, I did it was it's like check, 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 check. That's what it's like for me. That's the best I and that's the most half beautiful. You know, I'm always in a state of blissfulness, so it's not a big deal. But when I get check, 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 check my stomach goes kaboom in a really beautiful way and extends lines out into the future and goes, we're going to make an impact. And that's, that's my way of, uh, and I love that I can talk to you that way. I don't know too many people I could say that to and they'd get what I just said and did. I didn't just say something. I did something. Cause I was remembering the moment where I was tapping into oh, all your, so. all your codes. Cause those are your codes. Those are codes too. What you got? Those are the business codes, or the do codes, or the materialization codes, or the crystallization codes, or whatever you want to call them, manifest codes. You know. Well, the, like the, I remember when I first started, like at some point, right? You just start tracking the patterns in people, and you're hearing, God, they're always in a storytelling, they're always explaining, they're always credible. Like it was always because of being around people and their unconscious communication that I started kind of tracking all the patterns and then it would always it would start at 20 then more and more and more and more it went from six for each one then it went to eight and then all of a sudden you have that and then you're you're sort of again there's a bit of insanity in terms of talking with humans because it's pattern or presence and so many people can't have a real two-way conversation you know they're they're they're, they're trapped in their little story thing going on well like trump like trump they can't even do a real sentence <laughs> It's just grunt, grunt, er, er, fart, fart, and burp, burp. You know? Excuse me, I just had my Big Mac for the day, lunch. <laughs> anyway, uh, but also your your thing you do with the quadrants, that also aligns into, um, here I'll show you how that, al how that aligns in um, on all your, your chart to do it. Oh boy, you're so lucky you get so many things, but you're, do you're doing the work, so I don't care. When it comes to the work, everything is, is gifted. Because we're going to gift each other. You've already, mm. you've already gave me so much. Again, like I said, I can't wait to see how what you're going to do with it. Mm. Once, once you re reveal, revel in the um, uh, here, 
the unveiling. Okay, so here, see the quadrants, the four quadrants, right? This is one quadrant, the quadrant of, this, of the self, right? This is the quadrant of the other. This is the quadrant of object and the world of objects, the environment, and then um, the, the vehicle, whatever. But that's what it is. And so, and then you've got, I don't know how you call this. Why don't person. you have that like signified somewhere? Or is that because your own? That, that's me just knowing. This is taking the integral approach and applying it. Okay. A, guy, a guy who knows Richard Rudd, who Richard Rudd created all the gene keys with and all the shadows give citizens the names and all of it. He's a guy who lives, he's a German guy. And he does what's called integral human design. And he's the one that helped Richard establish the levels, which is the spectrum of consciousness in Ken Wilber's work, the lines, or no, the levels, not the, the, the lines, as far as I know, are the 64 gates. So you don't just have, you have, there's eight major lines, and then it, within that, eight more. And so the quadrants, though, are this, this, this thing here, you've got the personality, personality part of the, the you know, the, this is, goes across. Holy, so it, uh, that's the it, connection with the far spaces. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then you've got the other one over here. And so that's your cross. And so that's the stuff that's on an individual level, whether it's subjective or objective. Right. I should point that out here. Subjective or objective on an individual level. This is subjective and objective on a collective level. And that's the four quadrants, essentially speaking. So and that's how this works. So these are the quadrants. This, by the way, is the Enneagram. You can, I've already correlated in my diagram where each of these planets fit in my chart that covers everything we just went through, all 72. That's here. And Mars, the mutation, that's the ninth point. Okay, can, can I ask a question in terms of the placement of the hexagrams on the wheel yes. of 360? Yes. How did they correlate the patterning of where it fits? That's just was a revelation like this, this thing here that Ra got that, that put it in a body graph that's never been revealed before 1987 until Ra got it in Ibiza in his cistern that he was living <laughs> in a little shack built around a cistern, huh. um, which is, uh, so that was revealed 5,000 years ago when the I Ching first came in. That order around the wheel is just how the hexagrams transition throughout the year and they're an influence for five and three quarter days, all 64 of them. Uh, and they, they don't move just like the astrology signs. They don't move, They're, they just stay there and the year goes through all of them every year. That's what that wheel is. Why five, is there any reason to five and three quarter days? Well, because if you take uh, 365 and divide it by 64, divide 64. that's it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what it is exactly. It's five days, 20 hours or something, I don't know. Okay. It's not that hard to do the math. Um, okay. But that's all. Okay, that so it's a revelation. There isn't some scientific no. correlation. Well, there is because um, now there is because okay. when you're bo you're born, this is what you this is your imprint, baby. That's what happened to you to you to you on uh, your spectrum of consciousness was inlaid with this. This is your way of orienting in this world. From here, you can look at all the other lines, gates, and everything else. But you have to have something that's fixed in this lifetime like our bodies, they're relatively fixed. They do grow and change over time, but they're relatively fixed. They're not nearly as volatile and changeable as the other aspects of our higher bodies that can change on a dime, like our feelings or our thoughts. Or the physical form is much slower. So we need something to orient into this plane. So this is our genetic, you know, this is how we're nailed to the surfboard to ride the wave of life. This is our surfboard. This is what so we're nailed to. Is, is the line then, is that also the position of the planet within that yes. five and three quarter days and each yes. one of those is one of the lines? Yeah, 18 That's hours. That's divided into six? Yeah, and then it's divided again into six through colors and you get to three hours and it's divided into six again, you get into about a half hour, those are tones, and then into five again with bases and you're down to oh, five or okay. It gets that refined and then you're down to like, that's why you need okay. exact. That's why you need exact birth time. And those all relate to different things, universal bases, collective tones, individual colors. Wow. Line, lines have to do with the where you are, whether you're an individual, family, nature, <laughs> a market, a network. It's the, the, do, do how you, big you, what? Do you line up with the Sabian symbols too? Like, do you, have you used them? No. 
No, the only other stuff I've done in terms of symbolic stuff is the Golden Dawn, Israel Regardi's take on that. Crowley was a bit of a black magician. So uh, I looked into his stuff for a little bit and then I realized he was nuts. Because Gurdjieff, one time Crowley went in to see Gurdjieff and Gurdjieff said, get the fuck out of here, you're, you're dark, you're evil. So you got to stay away from Crowley because he's got too much shit in there that's, that's, that's unconscious, personal, dark, evil, if you like the word evil, I don't care. It just means unconscious in a lot of ways. All yeah, evil I've, never, I've, never been, uh, I've never been attracted mm -hmm. to him. Yeah, but Israel Regardi is the guy who is clean with all this stuff. And he's, I studied the Tarot and learned about all the plant, you know, the different symbols and how it relates to the Hebrew 22 letters of the alphabet and how that's our amino acids and how those amino acids are the groupings of the codons of all these 64 gates. Wow. And that, that's all. So it is all science now. It's total I, science. I, that I'm, hey, do you know what? I mean, one of the first things I see doing is then taking the gene key coding of the 11 gates and then looking at the convo types and coming up with a coding system for that right like right that's, right that's yeah, no that's, brainer yes that's that's why i shared all this with you that's the first step yes correct because like it, we'll i got two 11s and that's like a double enrollment and again like one of my main things i want to enroll everyone in the idea right yeah for me 11 is for me 11 is right over here in this saturn Saturn. Okay. I, I, I exhale. This is the get. This is exhalation on the color level. I exhale. I exude ideas. <laughs> uh, gate of ideas. You. This is value system, and this is mutation. So ideas are mu uh, very mutative for you, and they're also very much about how you value, how you set up a criteria hierarchy. It's how you you do it through ideation. That's a very deep interpretation, by the way, of your chart and zero again on ideas since you mentioned it. I can and read it clearing. My God. Mm. My God. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have this? I sent this to you, right? You have access to this on your own. I did. I'm sure I sent this to you. Um, could you send it again, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. I can get it right from Gene Key. From, from no, Gene you nope. can't get this from anywhere. This is you. You got to have a twelve hundred dollar human design Maya Mechanics Imaging Advanced program. Oh, and you got to be approved for that. You have to have done the trainings that allow you to oh, okay. even get it. No, no, you can't. Okay. Yeah. No, no, you can't. But I'll send. Uh, I thought I did send those. I guess I didn't. But what I'll do while we're talking right now, um, and I can still see you. This, what's showing up is still your um, your chart, right? Uh, it just went black. Oh, because, okay, because, all right, I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna leave it though, so I can still see you over on the side, and because I, I'm gonna send you that stuff right now while we're talking about right. it. Because I don't wanna forget about it. Because I, I, I'm at work and I'm gonna be engaged in stuff the minute I get off of here, so. I'm just gonna put Eli Eli Elijah's, I'm just going to put Elijah's charts because I'm going to send you all of it. I'm going to send you the gene keys. I'm going to send you the uh, the human design, and I'm going to send you also this new sunware, which has interpretations of every line in your chart from a gift level. Because the ones that I'm going to send you that are attached to this chart that you see there are on a are are Raw's interpretations, which are always shadow. So I'm going to send you a whole nother set that's, and I, everybody I, I'm working with in the dream synergy, I, I've already sent these to, I thought I did this one. I guess not because we communicate through a different system and I did it all through, did I do it through Telegram? I don't remember. Anyway, let me get your, let me get your stuff. Okay. So you got, I'm going to send you your gene keys. The NSW is the ones where all your lines and your gates are in a gift format. And the MMA, MMAI charts are where are the chart you see that you, we were looking at, plus a whole bunch, all the all your lines again of your gates, but this time from raw, which is more shadow, shadow interpretations. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put enjoy, and then, uh, yeah, that's your stuff. Okay, I'm sending it right now, done. Okay, now let's get back to where we were. Can I, can I do this more? I guess not. Okay, no, yeah, I got to get that to go down. Okay, now we're back. Okay, so why we got this up, yeah. But it'll be interesting for you to take this chart of yours, now you're going to have it, um, and look at all this stuff based on the new stuff. So everything, the gates are always the first number, right? Yeah. 
the line is the second number. The third number is colors. Okay, and colors, you, you have to learn all about colors. There's a whole bunch of stuff you have to learn about colors. In fact, just to give you an idea, let me see if I can find a real quick. Funny thing. clearing, like at the moon, and I have moon in Pisces squaring a Venus Mars conjunction. Uh -huh. So that, like, I'm. I'm always in a need to clear at some point with somebody. Yeah, yeah. I don't even. I don't. I can't even really relate anymore to um, psych, uh, astrology because it's just it's um, it's it's not really uh, not as precise. Well, it's not as relevant. Any. It's not relevant because it's it's uh, it's uh, how should I say um, the, the signs in the sky don't correspond to what what uh as you know that anymore they haven't for a long they haven't for a long long time that was three thousand years ago when all the constellations were in perfect alignment they haven't been that way in eons so let me see let me see if i can find you a nice picture of what the level the uh, uh the level at which colors start to um happen i was going through all that where's the colors Keynoting illustration. What's that? I don't think that's what I want. Oh, yes, it is. Here you go. Oh, cool. I'll show you this. I'm going to stop, share what I got. It's like you need to get, I'm going to take your chart away. So let's see, that's your chart. Boom. I didn't make any changes. Okay. So now I've got to stop, share, and reshare. So you, so you can start to get, you won't understand what I'm about to show you, but you'll start to get a, an appreciation for what, how deep human design goes. Okay, see that? Yeah. Okay, so every single line that you have in your chart, depending on where it is, has, these are the colors. These are all the different colors. Okay, and these colors are broken. They go left and right depending on how you're tonally defined. Okay, and this is a chart of what happens with all your tones. And you're only one of these. Every one of us is only in one of these because each one of these contains all four of these, but at a deeper level and with a deeper meaning. Okay, so I'm not expecting you to understand all this, but um, if you go back to your chart and we were talking about the four quadrants, these are the four quadrants okay. at a color at a color level okay at a, at a level of color which is below the line now there are six lines to a gate and six colors to a line okay and this all came in Ra's revelation he got it all the way down to the basis wow and, yeah so this is really cool so just to give you an idea and then i'm going to show you one more thing that if we go and i got to stop sharing and find it real quick so you can get an even deeper appreciation i'm going to show you the base level which will even make less sense, but that's okay. You'll get an appreciation for where all this is coming. No, but I get like it's a fractal six and it, it keeps going down and in each level there's a, a different level yeah. of interpretation based upon uh -huh. whatever is that breakdown. Yep, yep, pretty much. Yep, yeah, and because they're, they each relate to different aspects of our being. So it's really cool. Now this is the base, This is ba these are the five bases. This is insane, but when it gets down to this level, it's it's um, <laughs> it's crazy, but this is base one, this is base two, this is base three, this is base four, this is base five, and this is only for the personality side. The way it is on the design side has a whole different arrangement of these numbers. Wow. And it's not five in the middle, it's three, because it's all about the vehicle and what's visible, tangible. So it has to be objective. Whereas with the, the witness, what's called the passenger, on the personality side, it's all about our witnessing consciousness, which is pure spirit, and that has to be subjective. That's why it's centered around subjective in the personality, whereas when you shift, and someday uh, I can show you all this stuff, but there, these things mean so many different things when you get down to the base level. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's really, really, it's, but it's so- So cool. is, this, is this the connection, like are you talking bases? Um, Universe. Is the amino acids? Uh, no, no, this is universal basis. The amino acids are way back up at the line level. Okay, uh, and so this is in, even deeper. This is like uh, at the... This is at the, 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 where the neutrinos, where the neutrinos stream into our uh, crystals of consciousness. Okay. 
that hold our personality, one does, and then our design is another one. And then we have what's it called a monopole that holds those two things together and all of us in the illusion of our separateness. That, uh, yeah, it's, it's so deep human design, it's, it's crazy. Most people don't realize how deep it is and what goes and what goes in at the deeper levels. But I wanted to show you that to start to get an appreciation for where we can go if you ever become interested in really understanding you know but but for what we're doing and as far as getting us going financially and stuff all we need right now is the surface which yeah. are the all these gates we did plus the lines is as deep as we'll need to go yeah when it comes to business and stuff you don't need to go beyond lines when it comes yeah. to awakening you need to go all the way down in but that's it that's it that's the vertical one and that's a different story for the horizontal you just need gates and lines so you got everything you need for us to get started and you don't want to be too overwhelmed you want to take it one step at a time and eventually you may want to learn about colors tones and bases and when that time comes i have all we need to do that okay that's it mm -hmm. yeah and we'll just and we'll just keep doing it like this where we just you know we're we're part of the the same entity now so between us it's just sharing and exchanging resources like we're doing yeah and opening things up for each other and as we're doing too so well yeah i think we're good we come to the end and you're gonna move yeah. on and... yeah yeah me too so i'm glad you said that because uh, i know you and i <laughs> you got a day to do, I got a day to do. So lovely, Elijah, have fun um, looking into those gene keys and stuff and discovering, uh, you know, what's going on there. I, I, you know what I'll do? I'll send you, um, and don't tell anybody because you're not, oh, wait. Oh, wait, let me just pop. Yeah.